Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tiasha or with love Tiasha on Instagram and for today's video I have prepared another monthly challenge video. I can't believe it's already November, it's already a new month so yeah here we go so first of all i would like to thank everyone who joined the october monthly challenge i thought it was super fun as the theme of the month was halloween i hope you celebrate it well i didn't do any pumpkin carving or anything fun this year just because the obvious covid but yeah i hope you still celebrated it uh, well now this month it was quite hard to decide who is the winner of the monthly challenge so i asked everyone on instagram to vote uh, their favorite postcard i created a google form and uh, you helped me out decide who is the winner for this month but before we go to that let's talk about all of the entries this month i think there were 10 entries so as uh, last month i'm gonna look through all of them on my phone and put them over here somewhere so that you can see how they look like and i'm just gonna go over them and just uh, comment a bit on them so i got a lot of positive feedback on the last month's video on how i comment on every entry so i'm gonna do it again uh, this month uh, as i only have 10 so i think i will manage to go through everyone's entry okay so let's uh, check them out okay so here is the first one i really like it I think she entered last time as well and I really like her style. She again used a magazine, uh, those red bits I think are from a magazine and I really like the pumpkin, I think that's a sticker but yeah really great job, I really like it. Then the next one, oh my gosh this one is so cool, I really like it. Um, I love how she made those like spider webs, I think she made them herself. When I was younger I did those uh, snowflakes made out of like paper and stuck them on the windows and I think she made those um, spider webs using the same thing and I really like how she used like the boo as well as I did and like the washi tape very simple I love the stickers I love I really like it it was one of my favorites and as I said it was super hard to decide that's why I also asked you for your help uh, so here is the next one. This one is from Jin. Uh, the lovely Jin decided to join again and I really like her idea. She uh, basically covered the back of the postcard with a black cardstock paper and I'm assuming she will write or she wrote uh, her message on with a white pen and I think that probably turned out super nice. So I really like what she did and I love the um, sticker of the witch and the pumpkin I really like it and I also love the stamps the fall stamps so yeah very nice then here is the next one this one was sent to me via DM so you can also enter like that she used some fun uh, stickers I really like the googly eyes I never thought of uh, doing those and I do have them so maybe for uh, next year so I really like the idea and I really like how she wrote like happy Halloween with uh, two types of font uh, super cool so yeah I really like it then the next one oh this one is gorgeous um, I don't know if she if the if the cat and the leaves are like a sticker if they came with the postcard or not I don't know how she made it but I really like it I like her like style and please let me know how you made it it's super cool I can't figure it out and I really like it so um, yeah super cool and I love the colors and everything so yeah very nice Ooh, the next one. This one is very spooky and very Halloween-y. Uh, this one is actually from Finland and yeah, I, I'm obsessed. I really like it. It's, um, as I said, very Halloween-y. Love all of the colors. I love that creepy girl. Like, I love it. For example, you can see she used a washi tape that is like those sea creatures. I don't know how they are called right now but uh, they go with the color scheme and I actually don't mind like they are not Halloweeny, but they still go kind of with the whole postcard and with the Halloween theme kind of so yeah I really like it oh this one <laughs> so this is the next one 
I really like this one. Uh, I think she used uh, the stickers from Pen Paling Faula. I can't find them right now. My desk is a complete mess. But I showed you the sticker sheet in my decorating part and I was... I wanted to uh, use it but I think I didn't so uh, yeah I really like it uh, I really like how she made the tree and like the fall leaves spider web um, super cool like very nice I think this one was also one of your guys's favorites I think she was on the second place I'm not exactly sure I still have to check the results but I think she was on second place so yeah, on to the next one. Oh, this one is super cool. The girl that uh, made this one said that uh, she didn't like it as much, I guess, that it isn't as Halloween-y, but this is a, I, I love it. First of all, I love it. And this is the perfect example of how you can spruce up your postcards if you don't have as many Halloween themed stuff. Like, it's perfect. I love it. Uh, I love the pop of color. I love the idea. I'm definitely gonna do something like that in the future. I really like it. So yeah, one of my favorites as well. <laughs> then here is the next one. Oh gosh, this one is so cool. I absolutely love the bat. I think it's like a cutout from a magazine or a, a book. I really like it. I love the skull washi tape at the bottom. It's very simple, but the hanging bat it makes like the whole postcard look so cool and so Halloween-y. I also love how you used a stamp uh, w also with a bat on it and it's kind of like Halloween-ish, so super cool. I wish our post had like Halloween themed uh, stamps, but unfortunately we don't. Then on to the next one. So she also did the same thing as Jin at the start. She also used a black cardstock paper and she probably wrote her message using a white pen, which is super cool idea. I didn't think of doing something like that, so super fun. And I love how she used like spooky uh, stickers super cool and I, I actually really like it. I love the color combination that she used and yeah, super cool. Simple but very nice and Halloween-y. So. Oh, and that's my final one. Yeah, that's all. Oh my gosh, okay. Those were all of the entries for the month of October. Now let's check who is the winner. So I got 24 answers, which is super nice. I'm just looking through the results using my iPad, uh, but I'm gonna like screen record it and put it over here so that you can see. So as you can see, I got 24 answers. These are all of the people that entered. And here we go. So postcard. I would also like to thank everyone who wrote me something in the Google form at the end. Uh, your messages were super nice, super sweet. So. Yeah, I am happy that I decided to also include that in my Google form, so thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, let's see. So I guess... So Postcard 6 has uh, 10 votes, which makes her the winner. And Postcard number 6 was... This one! So congratulations on winning the October's monthly challenge. You will be receiving this postcard from me. I uh, decorated it for the video. And uh, yeah, let me know your uh, address by sending it via DM. And that's it. I'm gonna write you a postcard. <laughs> okay, now that we are done with that, I guess it's time for the November monthly challenge. I'm super excited. So first, let me tell you what is the theme for the month of November. This time I got help by one of you. I can't remember if you left me a comment on one of my previous videos or if you sent me a DM, I can't remember. But we were just talking about like themes for the challenge and you suggested a very fun one and it's perfect for November. So the theme for the month of November are mushrooms. Um, I think they're super fall themed and 
yeah we are gonna be decorating our postcards for november with mushrooms they can be stickers like these ones uh, they can be cutouts from a magazine a mushroom themed paper so yeah whatever mushroom themed you can find you can use it on your postcards so i can't wait to see all of your entries i'm super excited for uh, this month's theme just a small recap of what you have to do so you can enter until the 25th of november for the november monthly challenge and all you have to do is just use something mushroom themed on your postcards please tag me in your photos this is the easiest way for me to see uh, everyone who entered now let's go to the decorating part i will be showing you how i will decorate these two postcards so let's go
So this is how the two decorated postcards turned out. I hope you liked them and I hope you felt inspired by this entire video to decorate some postcards. So yeah, I can't wait to see what you will create for the month of November. So I guess that's it for today's video. Have an amazing day and see you in my next one. Bye!